Hello guys, Fire Alarm Guy 123 here. Um, and welcome to System Test 9. Um, this is a Simplex T bar. Hey. It is a let me open it up. Um it is a 2099-9756 Simplex um pull station. And the push piece in here is missing because I sort of broke it, took it out. And it broke out. So yeah. And um, here is the Gentax Commander 3 um, horn strobe. It's some code 3 horn. And moving on to the boiler room. Alright, in the storage room, or you can call it a boiler room, we have a system sensor spectral or advanced strobe, but it's supposed to be a horn strobe. Uh, let me just pop it off. It's a strobe now. The original board in here was fried. This is my second uh, P2R as well. Hold on. Got the P2R on the bracket. And then uh, up here is a EST Genesis remote strobe. It's on a bad way. I really did. Um, I don't have enough screws to put it on. And I do have screws, but they won't fit on here. So anyways, let's begin with the test in three, two, one. What the hell? All right. Cut. Yeah, I just forgot to turn on the power. Anyways, three, two, one. Strobes are flashing in there. Boiler room. You have the two R strobe in there. You have the gases. So now we're gonna go reset the um simplex uh keyboard. So yeah, first we could just sound. This. I'm also thinking about getting a system sensor sync module to get audible silence on these alarms. And the sync module is going to go, like, I think behind this in the boiler room above the advance. So, yeah. Anyways, let's uh, key activate this alarm. Activate the system. Also, let me turn on the system real quick. You can do this too. And then that shuts the alarms off. And it will not activate. So, yeah. So, we're going to turn it off again and we set it. So, yeah. Next time I do a system test, this is going to be in October, I'm going to do some major renovations to this system. So yeah, bye guys. Hello guys, just to let you know that I am going to be not posting fire alarms for a bit because um, there's going to be a lot of changes. Um, there will still be the flush mount system, but I'll get, get rid of these wires, maybe flush mount them as well, but like... Uh, and here, uh, get yeah, an emergency light and a P2R, but I'll put the I3, like, up here somewhere. And then I'll get a system sensor sync module and put it, like, around here, and it's gonna be flush mounted. With the back box inside of it. So, yeah.